Hello, hello, beautiful people. What's up? It's your girl Davion coming at you for a unboxing of a BoxyCharm base box for the month of January. And I'm not going to do a whole intro and all that. I'm just going to skip to the good stuff, which is the unboxing. Everything you see on my face is from the box. So let's get started, shall we? Let's do it. So we are going to start with the beautiful, beautiful palette. We're going to start with actually two items because in the video, I, I actually use both of these kind of simultaneously. So we're going to start with two items. The first one is the wonderful Sweet Escapes palette by Wander Beauty. And this was um, very highly anticipated because it's such a beautiful palette, as you can see. Um, hopefully you can tell this is what I have on my eyes right now. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color and shade and I love the shine of it and whatnot. I know the red lips does not match the look per se, um, but I did want to try on everything in the box so I just went along with it. I went along with the ride and just did the red lips even though it really doesn't match frankly. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I mean a lot of these shades are just stunning from Wander Beauty and I will do a slight, a little um, swatch of them. This is the purple, that beautiful purple, like a royal purple shade. This is another beauty, like check that out. In love with that color. And of course I'm in love with this color, which is what is on my eyes today. The reason why you see that swatch it gives it the wet effect but almost um not very opaque it's because um right that color isn't very opaque which i love i love colors like that where you can just kind of use as a topper which is what i did with this essentially but because i used this awesome um glow gel balm stuff from lovecraft this is how it turned out like it made it more opaque so this stuff from lovecraft is um, a really awesome thing it is like a balm jelly a balm jelly glow thing like you can use it on your eyes on your face on your um, lips well on your cheeks on your lips um, uh, as a bronzer even which is how I used it today I kind of use it as a bronzer also used it on my eyes you guys are going to see the video of me doing both things so yeah I was actually pleasantly surprised with this one this one is a really really cool very versatile um, makeup item so uh, yeah I was super um, excited for for this and I'm so glad I got to use it in a different few different ways and that you get to see um, how I'm using it so that is maybe give you ideas and whatnot so before I get to that I'm just going to tell you the prices of the sweet escapes palette which is going to be wonder beauty $42 that is what this runs for $42 um, definitely worth it wonder beauty has a great formula in their um, eyeshadows I had no problems um, at all blending and or for them showing up for that matter everything was beautiful honey in this wander beauty palette and then lovecraft plasma gloss that's what they call it plasma gloss is um 18 bucks like that is so cool that it's 18 bucks and you can use it in so many different ways so without further ado i'm going to show you guys how i got the eye look um, and then some of the face um, as well and when you come back i will open the rest of my box and we will see what else we got here we go so I'm starting with the lightest shade in the palette. I wanted to prime the lid and I'm doing that so I can get ready for that gorgeous plasma or whatever they call it. Um, yeah, I basically put it all over my face and it is so gorgeous. So notice what I did there. I made sure that I did it over the um, crease so that when I open my eyes, it's not going to kind of transfer up. And as you can see, I'm using a dense brush and now I am going in because that gloss stuff is like a sticky base um, it is going to make that color shine even better and more beautiful from that palette so now I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette and I'm just going over that with the outer um, third and that's just going to give it some definition and I am kind of buffing that out so there's no harsh lines now I'm going to go ahead and kind of smoke out my 
my um, waterline with the darkest shade in the palette. Then I added a couple light ones too. This palette is fire. Love it so much. So I'm going to, like I said, I actually used this to bronze with and it turned out pretty beautifully. Um, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I just took my finger to it as you saw and then um, also a sponge. And then I did the same thing on the other side as well. And I okay, also- Okay, next up is gonna be the eyeliner. Yes, we got an eyeliner or I got an eyeliner from Farrah Beauty. It is a liquid liner and I actually have, do I, is that a swatch? No, I think that's a swatch or something else. So this is the swatch of the Farrah Beauty Liquid Liner. Like check that swatch out. That is such a very, very great opaque, like black, black um, situation. You will see me putting it on. I don't have a wing or anything. Um, I didn't do anything fancy like that. Plus I have hooded eyes, which by the way, there's gonna definitely be some videos for you guys on hooded eyes and um, the cool stuff that you can absolutely achieve with hooded eyes. Um, but I just wanted to be able to show you it, like how it'll work and how it operates and works on the eyes. Yeah, I had no problems with it. Of course, I have not worn it um, all day or anything like that. So I'm not sure about the longevity of it. It does um, seem to dry down matte, um, which I know that some people like a matte dry down some people like um, a, a shiny type finish you know either way I don't mind I guess it just depends on the day whether I reach for a matte finish or a shiny finish because um, I kind of like either one so it does not bother me either way um, but yeah no complaints whatsoever about this eyeliner so that is from Fair Beauty let me get you the price on that that is going to be um, retail price is going to be 20 bucks on the Afera Beauty Liquid Liner with the pen. And also, this is my favorite type of applicator. I do like the felt pen. Next up is from Persona Beauty. What you see on my lips, honey, that is what we got. This is actually a balm, but it's like a very opaque tinted balm. Um, it feels very juicy and glossy um, on my lips. I can imagine that it's definitely going to come off and start coming off very easily once I start, you know, taking a drink of water or if I talk more, um, hug people, kiss people, I can tell that this is going to come off, which it's a bomb so it's not meant to be a long wearing situation um but yeah i do like it and yeah they gave us a red or they gave me a red red color and this is it this is the packaging um so yeah i am not mad at it not mad at it at all i mean you know we can always use a red i can always use a red i love wearing red lipsticks um i don't know what it is some women love so much i'm definitely one of them i love red lipsticks you just feel more confident in a red and yeah, I don't know. So I did use a lip liner, um, Beauty Vault in the color Natty Nat. And that is what I lined my lips with first, which is um, a bit deeper, a bit darker, um, almost a burgundy type color. Um, this did not come in the box. This was already mine. And that is, well, of course it, it matches way better on camera but in person this is like a lot darker um but yeah it still works it works well and in fact that's what i wanted to do i needed to actually go in with a dark lip liner because this red is um kind of like a a blue red and so i needed something a little bit darker than that one and so that is why i reached for uh the liner and then finally, we have the last but not least product. Oh, let me get you the price real quick on the lip, on the lip balm. Um, that is going to be $22. So that lip balm, the red that I have on my lips now, it runs for 22 bucks. Um, and then the last but not least item is the only item that I was upset about. Yeah, super irritated about actually, because um, on my quiz, they know that I do not have oily skin. They should know by now, honey. I've been getting BoxyCharm for a long time. I update my quiz. Um, they should know that I have dry skin, not oily skin. And so the most expensive item in this box, which was $46, is a um, skincare item for oily skin. So, you know, that bothers me me big time actually um, but it is from earth harbor naturals it is um, the nebula Ad adaption clarity ampoli 
something like that, honey. Um, and um, yeah, it is just for it. Well, it helps distress skin like um, prone to acne, blemishes, and excess oil. So I am not prone to any of those things. And so, yeah, I was very, very irritated um, when I saw this and read about what it does. I do not mind skincare at all. In fact, I love it. I welcome the skincare. Um, but when it's skincare that's not going to help my skin, according to my quiz, it bothers me and irritates me. BoxyCharm, do better do better honey do better next time <laughs> anyway so here it is and it's a really cool color a really cool jar i like that um but yeah that is my base box for this month um how did your guys's box fare did you like your box did you not like your box did you not like an item in your box um let me know in the comments below and remember this is one of my first videos on this channel and so your like subscribing and all of the above honey that will really help me out to grow this channel and bring you guys these videos thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to hit that like button i'll see you in the next one bye just kidding. I wanted to show you the lipstick um, application or the balm application. Um, yeah, I love this lipstick. I ask that you guys um, hit that subscribe button and the like button and you will get more videos like this. Bye.